Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and I've got a look at GNOME 316 for all the GNOME 3 fans out there. Now last night in the Arch repositories, GNOME 316 hit the uh, stable repositories. Uh, so I believe that is the first uh, the first distribution to uh, to uh, to get GNOME 316 into uh, out of out of the testing and unstable categories and into the uh, stable categories. So of course I had to uh, upgrade right away, and uh, you know I had already been playing around with. Uh, 316 on uh, Fedora 22 Alpha, and I had downloaded the uh, the 316 preview, which was I believe that was on OpenSUSE. So I got a chance to play around with it there, but you know now I'm getting a chance to run 316 on my regular desktop, and uh, really liking what I'm seeing here. So I'm going to do a quick rundown of the new features, what I think of it, and all that kind of stuff. So let's start probably the number one feature and I think just about everybody uh, that I've talked to that's been running 316 is loving this and that is the new notification setup. When you click on your little time and date up in the top bar, you know it used to be you just had a calendar that would drop down. Now you got your notifications are right in the same bar. You can also go and add some world clocks there. Click on world clocks if you don't have anything added and just click on new and oh, let's say well Boston's in the same area that I am but uh, there we go New Delhi Indy New Delhi India Okay, and so now you know that'll pop up. For me, it's not you know much of a of a useful feature, but for I can see where you know if you're in a business where you need to keep track of you know what's going on in, in a whole bunch of different time zones, I could especially see it for uh, for somebody that does uh, you know international trading, international business, that sort of thing where you know just you know quick glance right there boom there's all those world times um, and then I like that we've got the, all the notifications here it never made sense to me that you know you had that lower tray that you had to activate so you could see what your notifications were I like this drop down thing very nice let me go and check my notes over here so I don't lose track of what I've talked about uh, let's go to files next and let me go and pull up my home folder here. And they've done some work on the home folder. Or, well, not just the home folder, but files in general. Um, one, uh, the icons. I, I really like what they've done with the folder icons. Um, of course, going along with that, my, 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 one of my gripes is, okay, you cleaned up the folder icons they look awesome now the over here your regular desktop icons they still need a lot of work um, so you know I'm kind of at one of those catch 22s in that you know I, I'd much rather go and pull down some other icon set for these icons here but I'm really liking these folder icons anyway so they, they've cleaned up the look of of, uh, of Nautilus and you know now called files um, you got a little drop down here to add for a new folder new tab all that kind of stuff click right here and you can adjust your icon size here depending on how I guess how bad your eyes are um, yeah when I first uh, when I first got done with the uh, with the upgrade the icons were set to the normal size which I mean to me even that's pretty big I was like wow that's that's kinda large but um, to me the small size seems about right so uh, but I really like the look of the of the new icons very nice looking um, anyway so you can do all kinds of, of sorting there reverse order and then show our hidden files and do a reload there the one thing I'm still wishing for 
um, and that is why can't we have the dual pane mode yes I know that you can go and you know open another instance of files you know like that so that you can copy and paste but why can't we have the dual pane mode you know we've had it for so long and you know if you go with Nemo and uh, Kaja and um, PCFMN uh, you know so many of those other file managers you get dual pane mode why can't we have it here but you know that's you know one minor gripe what I, what they've done with it since the last version very nice looking all right let me take a look at my notes here uh, they have updated the image viewer let me go and I'll open up a uh, an image and open it in the image viewer so they made some updates to the image viewer uh, very nice and then you can they got a little shrink and enlarge button right there real quick it gives you the, the properties of course this wasn't a photo that I took but had it had been a photo and you know we had metadata there it would all be listed right here so very nice on that so we've got a couple of previews of uh, I guess you can consider them up and coming uh, GNOME applications the first is calendar and this one I'm pretty stoked about uh, just because uh, you know for a long time I've been looking for a calendar application that would sync well with um, uh, with my Google Calendar and then you know any other calendar applications that I want to Google Calendar being the big one just because you know then I can sync my you know my my Android phone I can and my tablet and my computer everything's all you know running off of the same uh, off of the same calendar um, now of course you do get integration up here in the notification with uh, with your Google Calendar as long as you've integrated it into your system so if you notice some of the days are a little brighter than others if you go and like click on down here you know I don't have anything there but you know click on there and anything that you've got scheduled for that particular day it pops up But the actual, the you know, the actual GNOME calendar. Let me pull it up, and there we go. And you know, it gives you a full grid view. Um, there's month, there's year, and then you can come up here and you know what calendars do you want it to sync with, and then come over here. You can add an event and then synchronize um, with you know whatever online services you've integrated with in my case you know Google Calendar now this is somewhat glitchy right now and like I said they they you know told us ahead of time that, you know the GNOME team they've told us you know hey this is a preview it's not fully baked yet but you know I'm liking what I see um, the issue that I've been that I've run into so far is that a lot of times uh, after you close the application until you reboot again you can't open the application again um, but like I said it's you know it's a preview right now so um, um, you know that kind of thing I guess can be expected um, but you know like I said I'm really liking what I'm seeing let me go and click there and yeah see it won't pop open again and it was kind of hit or miss on that sometimes it does seem to open back up and other times it doesn't anyway like I said that one's a preview the other one is books and and I'm kinda I'm kinda excited about this one too well maybe uh, depending on how it ends up working you know as of right now and this is an ebook reader as of right now you know it it shows all of the ebooks that I have on uh, on my uh, system except that I can't open up any of them to read whether it's PDF uh, EPUB um, any format doesn't matter I can't open any of them to read but you know I've, I'm, I'm kinda you know 
waiting in the wings to see what that's going to look like after uh, uh, you know after they they get that thing completed the gnome team has continued to tweak the theming I already talked about the icons and how that's sort of a mixed bag uh, they have worked on the gnome shell trying to make it uh, look more integrated with the uh, the GTK 3 theming um, it's you know it's more of a flat look up here it's not bad personally um, I prefer some uh, some of the third-party themes out there on the plus side um, for those of you that uh, that were using gnome 3 when we went from um, you know say gnome 310 to 312 and 314 how a lot of the themes that worked in previous versions didn't work anymore um, I am happy to say that the theme, at least the themes that I was using for GNOME 3.14, uh, they still work in 3.16, so that's nice. Let me pull up the um, tweak tool, and uh, I had stuck with the uh, with the default theming for the for the review just so everybody could see it. But um, I'll show you kind of what I like here: going to the global dark theme, and then using. Uh, let's see. I was using, there's a couple different icon themes I like. I like that buff theme, um, but then I was also using the uh, let me find the the Mona Fianza. Those are pretty nice looking icons as well. Uh, but for the shell theme, I was using this Adela Dark 314, and uh, I like that. And then, like I said, let me go and close that up, and then I'll reopen it with the dark theme there I kinda like it with the uh, with the dark theme cursor yeah the, that I don't care too much about the cursor theme um, but to me I think I like the, the way that I think that this out of a dark 314 um, that matches the global dark theme using the, the stock Ottawa theme I think that matches better than what uh, uh, than that default uh, shell theme. Uh, you know, just me, but um, you know, I think it's a better match. Well, that about finishes this little review up. Uh, I know it wasn't real long, but uh, you know, I just kind of want to give a, a, a highlight of some of the new stuff that came out here. And um, you know, there's not major changes, but I think the you know GNOME for the most part, it's uh, you know some of the new apps that are coming online, they're really great in that. But as far as uh, the desktop, you know, it's 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 at a stage more of refinement than anything else now. And and uh, what they're doing, I really like what they're doing. Um, like I said, the icons. Um, that's to me that's one of the big places they need to work at, at least on the desktop icons so the the ones that they came up with for the folders uh, those are great um, but the desktop icons they need a lot of work still but anyway let me know what you think uh, be sure to leave comments and all that kind of stuff about uh, about known 316 if you've tried it what did you like what didn't you like did you have any problems you know uh, other than those new apps that you know I'm expecting those to be glitchy but other than those I haven't had any problems uh, you know has anybody out there had any problems with uh, 316 crashing or not working or that sort of thing uh, let me know down in the comments below as always thanks for watching thumbs up if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you are not a subscriber and I will see you on the next video thanks a lot